Police officers who kill suspects are almost never charged with first degree murder. But that's starting to change. These cases move quite slowly. So while Chicago police shot 17 year old Laquan McDonald to death in 2014, the trolley officer in that shooting just hit its most pivotal point this week, four years since the killing. Officer Jason Van Dyke took the stand to deny first degree murder charges. This is the first time in over 30 years a Chicago officer has faced these kind of charges. But unlike many other shootings over the past decades, this entire encounter, as you may recall, was captured on video. You can see Laquan McDonald running down a street at night, and police cars pull up next to him. And the dash cam video of him running there catches the encounter. He appears to be sort of walking away from the officers, his hands out. And what we don't show you in full is what comes next, uh, officers advancing on him and shooting. Now, the video scandalized Chicago. It led to the ousting of the police chief and a prosecutor accused of going soft on corrupt cops. Plus, huge protests, not only in Chicago, but around the country. So now this week, the officer takes the stand to defend what so many saw as indefensible in this encounter, and he claims that teenager McDonald advanced on him. What was Laquan McDonald doing? Advancing on me. And could you see him, his face? Yeah, I could. His face had no expression. His eyes were just bugging out of his head. He had just these huge white eyes just staring right through me. I was yelling at him, drop the knife. The video does not show Laquan advancing on the officer, and prosecutors press this officer on why his claims cannot even be seen on this video. You ever seen Laquan McDonald do that on one of those videos? The video doesn't show my perspective. I was coming at a completely different angle. Now, second guessing one or two shots in the line of duty, I will tell you, reporting on these stories, that can be very difficult, more so than I think some people realize. But this video showed Van Dyke unloading 16 shots into McDonald. In fact, we're not allowed to show you the portion of the video where the next series of bullets, one after another after another, are fired into McDonald's body lying on the ground. And we know that body was either dying or a corpse at the time while it caught all those bullets. Now, prosecutors also pressed the officer on why he stepped towards McDonald, who was surrounded by armed cops, rather than step back. I know that now, yeah. Not intentionally. Pardon? Not intentionally. Not intentionally? Well, I thought I was backpedaling that, that night. What? Miss, I thought I was backpedaling that night. You thought you were backpedaling as you're firing shot after shot after shot? What I know now and what I thought at that time are two different things. Two different things according to the officer now. Now Laquan McDonald's family sees something different. This is his great uncle. When an officer who was sworn to serve and to protect can gun down a citizen mm -hmm. for no other reason than that he was black. Mm -hmm. Laquan McDonald represents thousands of Laquan McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Same black skin, yes. same poverty. Nobody knows how this case will end. As always, this defendant is presumed innocent and the jury will hear the closing arguments starting tonight. But we do know from the data that the criminal justice system does not typically fire police chiefs for this kind of shooting or change the DA, let alone charge an officer with first degree murder. As I've reported, those three steps have already occurred and many experts in Chicago say it's because of the video and the public pressure and the activism which got the video released. That's already changed, it's already progress. And I admit, and I think we all know, it is a very grim kind of progress for dealing with an irreversible tragedy. But as far as criminal justice is concerned, it is progress nonetheless. And because this shooting was caught on video, those defending it are left arguing that what you see on the video isn't on the video. The video doesn't show my perspective. I was coming at a completely different angle. 
Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.